Marvel Spider-Man is getting 15 new Spider-Man suits, but we are going to take a look at all the 15 suits that Insomniac has just officially revealed. So without any further ado, let's jump right in and take a look at all the suits. Now the first suit is right here, which is called the Advanced Suit, where Peter is still going to be rocking his Advanced Suit in Marvel Spider-Man 2, which is gifted by Otto the Octavius himself before he went to the dark side, which features a similar design, which is compared to the original classic Spider-Man game. In moving on we have the classic Miles Morales suit which we have already seen in Spider-Man Miles Morales but then this one it seems like we have a Vinx that has been upgraded but apart from that it's pretty much the same as what we have seen in Miles Morales and moving on next we have the symbiote costume and ooh, I gotta say that this is the suit that most of the people are super hyped about because obviously man Wenham is one of the best characters out there in the MCUs but you know what the rumor says it seems like Insomniac game only revealed this one symbiote costume but then it seems like there is supposed to be another symbiote costume which is going to be inside the game and that is going to be a surprise when the game comes out now moving on next we have the Ark Knight suit now to be honest this suit looks way more Assassin's Creed than any other games that I can compare it to now the only thing that the suit is missing is a hidden blade but hey I've got to say though this suit and the costume it just looks absolutely stunning I would absolutely love to play as an assassin in Spider-Man 2 as well now this suit is a available only as a pre-order bonus so if any of you guys have already bought the game it looks like you've already gained access to the suit now up next we have the Arantia suit where Arantia is described as a poisonous red brown crystalline alcohol soluble dye which kind of explains why we have a mask on top of a mask it seems like it has a lot of toxin protection in there now up next we have the tactical suit Now, being tactical means making yourself visible to a target as possible in front of a heavily armored hunters working for the Craven, then guess what? You have a mission accomplished, my friend. The tactical suit is going to be your best friend in these situations. And up next, we have the 25th century suit. And to be honest, it looks more like an Ant-Man suit than Spider-Man suit. Now, to be honest, it looks like he's wearing some sort of a futuristic hockey pants. Now, this costume still looks funny, but Insomniac has said that there is going to be different variations in this particular costume. So I would really love to see what those variations are, but unfortunately, we don't exactly have some of those images right now and moving up to the next one we have the stone monkey suit i've got to say though i'm getting all sorts of monkey king vibes from this suit and it does seem like a bold fashion strategy but let's see how it pays off for spider-man when he dives into battle wearing some of a fur choker and a color scheme like that it just makes it look so much more of a professional graphic designer rage of a spider-man now up next we have the apocalyptic suit now we previously had a spider punk outfit in the past in previous spider-man games but now we're getting to see this post apocalyptic suit that has everything you could ask for in an end of the world fashion with a weather leather vest and a strap across the chest and just enough space in the mask to let your trendy hairstyle just breathe in and this by far is supposed to be my second most favorite outfits out of all that we've got so far and moving on to the next one we have the agimat suit now this gives me all kind of black panther vibes to be honest it is a purple and gold accent statement and while this outfit does look a tad bit ostentatious it definitely looks like Miles is going to have a lot of heads turning towards him. Now moving up to the next one, we got the Shadow Spider suit. Now the Shadow Spider is a medieval makeover of Miles from another dimension. Now it's the one in which he has the magical cloak where he can teleport and roll a d20 whenever he needs to make an escape. Like Peter's Arc Knight costume, the Shadow Spider suit will also have several color variations which will be available in the game. So you can choose between all of the different color schemes that you want to play as. Now up next is Red Spectre suit. Now this suit I think is going to be one of the most favorite suits of many players out there. And at the same time this is actually the third costume on the list that features a hoodie design. And it seems like the hoodies just never gets old and it's one of the best things out there in Spider-Man outfits. And by far when it comes to the hooded outfit I think this is my most favorite one. Let me know which one is yours in the comments down below. Now moving up to the next one we have encoded suit. And I've got to be honest this is one of the most weirdest suit that I've seen so far where Miles has been moonlighting at advanced ideas of mechanism and possibly this could be some kind of an encoded suit that looks like it was built with materials from a research lab populated with an angry scientist dressed up as beekeepers for some reason but I'm not gonna lie this armored getup does look extremely dashing. Now moving on to the next one we have the biomechanical suit and my god I've gotta say though this looks super badass compared to all the other suits that we have had before and even the head of Spider-Man looks 
very creepy because it actually does resemble the original spider face. It seems like whoever created the suit in Insomniac seems to have watched too many episodes of Giver anime and the result of Spider-Man costume that has exposed masculature in sec like features and looks 200% awesome. Now moving on to the final suit which is the Tokusatsu suit which looks straight out of a Japanese TV show with an absolute slick design which looks like even the bullets will probably slide right off. And man I've gotta say this looks so much like the Power Rangers suit that we have seen and I just can't help comparing this to that one. But to be honest it's an awesome suit. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these 15 suits did you guys like the most and what is your favorite ones out of all these 15. Now obviously Insomniac has said that we have so many more suits that's going to be available. This is just a starter pack here. So don't get too excited because we still got so much more coming in the game which I will keep you guys updated with all of those suits as soon as they get dropped. But as of now these are all that Insomniac has officially announced. So if you guys want to stay updated with everything you guys need to know about upcoming Marvel Spider-Man 2 then make sure to go ahead subscribe to the channel turn the notifications on and if you guys are excited for Marvel Spider-Man 2 then drop a big fat like on this video your like and support it really means a lot to me it helps me make better content for you guys every single day and let me know in the comments which upcoming game are you guys going to be investing your money on my money is easily on the Spider-Man 2 and Assassin's Creed Mirage and at the same time I'm also kind of excited for Starfield and also I completely forgot that I haven't played the original Red Dead Redemption game and it seems like Rockstar Games just dropped it on the PlayStation 5 and I'm just gonna wait for a sale for that game's price to just drop down from $50 because you know there's a lot of games that I need to purchase right now and I'm trying to save as much money as I possibly can so yeah I would love to know what are the games that you guys are putting your money on leave your feedbacks comments down below I'd love to read and reply to as many of you guys as possible and with that being said hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video until then take it easy fams and goodbye